I've been eating lockers for a while now, but I've been procrastinating. Just thinking about all the work involved kept making me give excuses, but today the excuses ran out and I tore into my axles. I removed tires, brake backing plates, removed the axle shafts, and fought to remove the differential housing. After fighting with the differential housing because they did not want to come out, I finally got it to the bench and installed those lockers. It's bigger as proving grounds right there. After I put my axles all back together, I couldn't wait to go test drive it at the empty field across the valley that I started calling Big Earns Proving Grounds.
is crawl up this hill. Here. Where are we like this? Dana 44 and it has 30 splines so I ordered a Spartan locker for it and Spartan locker went right in and um, I'm very happy with it it just destroyed any trail out here all these trails it just destroyed them absolutely climbed over anything all the rocks everything if you don't know slum dog this is a uh, this is a slum dog. He's got a V6 in him, SM420 transmission with a Dana 20 transfer case. Um, this rear end, it's either a, the housing is either from a CJ5 or a Jeep Commando. But anywhere I try to look online, I can't find the axle links. This one's shorter on the, on the uh, driver's side and the passenger side is longer. Uh, fits straight up to the Dana 20, perfect. But uh, if I ever need a an axle, it might be SOL because I cannot find one on the internet. Anybody knows, please comment down below. Need your help. So the back ones was a Spartan locker, and the front ones was the lock rights. I got a Dana 25 right there. And uh, lock right popped right on in there. There's videos online. Um, I probably should have filmed myself doing it, but I was in serious concentration mode and didn't want to get distracted by the film. <laughs> but hey, I'm very happy with it. Got to go back to uh, the other side of the freeway.